Crazy Legs Conti back with Drunken Chef. We are definitely drunk at this point. How much wine is left? It doesn't. It didn't take much this episode to get me uh, drunk, but I'm drunk. Spillage. Mmm. So good. Sauce is bubbling. Very exciting. You miss the um, rolling of the balls, and then you miss the rolling of the meatballs, both of which were PG-13. One of which might have been. Um, anyway, we're going to go uh, a, lot of, a lot of... Oh, so heavy, the cast iron. Let's get uh, the stove up and running. A little heat there. We're going to put some olive oil in there. Went up to Arthur Avenue to buy my olive oil. For 11 bucks, I got uh, Bertoli, which is pretty good. They have great deals. It's in the Bronx. Wonderful food. Michelle's, or Mike's Deli, is an amazing place for sandwiches. I had their eggplant parm, even though they had great capicola and sopracetta, because eggplant I find very difficult to work with. It's a place uh, in Tribeca called Parm I'd like to check out. But uh, that's off topic, because tonight is meatballs on the Drunken Chef. Uh, sauce is bubbling. I may want to turn that down a hit. Oh, yeah, let's turn that down a little bit. There we are. Let's give it a nice stir. I wish Jamie Oliver was here. Such a non-pretentious, great guy, celebrity chef extraordinaire, but uh, excellent recipes. I've read all his books. Threw some artichokes, whole artichokes, into the sauce. No apparent reason. Um, wine is going well. Oil is heating up. Meatballs look good. A lot of parsley in them. Egg, that little bit of half and half. These are moist balls. I guess I should have waited till that uh, really heated up. Yeah. I'm just going to pop it in because uh, that's what drunken chefs do. They just pop it in, figure it out later. Uh, first episode of Drunken Chef, I can't remember what we cooked. It was some kind of curry thing. Sam Barkley had given it to us from Singapore, an amazing food place, Singapore. Was it Singapore or Thailand? No, it was definitely Singapore. Now we're, we're getting some heat on those balls. Uh, it's just so much fun to say balls. No matter how old you get, it's fun to be sophomoric. This sauce, I think, is going to be exemplary. And I really encourage every person out there, male, female, transgender, to make their own sauce. That's really the way to go. It's so easy. Tomatoes and uh, garlic, shallots, onions if you don't have shallots. And then spices, spices of your choice. All right, the balls are in. We're balls deep in the pan. I don't know. Doing my best. My girlfriend called me out. I sent her an email saying it was hot as balls in New York. She's like, when did you evolve into a middle schooler and use that terminology? <sighs> middle schoolers can't get the good wine, though, the good vino. They've got to measure their parents' liquor cabinet and then... Make a little marking. You know, I didn't set the alarm for this one. That is smelling fragrant and beautiful. We got a, a garden. There we are. Just in case. I don't want YouTube to get mad at me. I don't want to run over. Still curious as to what we're going to do with this. This is the gnocchi maker. Maybe while those are heating on one side, let's take a look at this thing. Mr. Conti's recipe. On a floured surface. Needed for friction, roll the cylinders off the back of a fork or preferably the serrated gnocchi board and closed. Roll the, if you roll the cylinder with your thumb away from it, uh, I don't know. Like that? Does it go like that? Hmm. You know what? Let's do it. Let's make a phone call. Let's see if it happens in real time. If, if we were tweeting, we would live tweet this. Oh, I smell the meatballs cooking. Couldn't be that drunk. You can remember the number. Almost. I think that was the number. Maybe not. Time to turn the meatballs.
Yo, Dad and Carolyn. I uh, hope you're well. I am uh, making some homemade gnocchi, and I need some instruction on the uh, paddle-like device and how to use it. You may be in Maine. I will try you there next, but uh, if not, no worries. I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. No answer there. Should we try the main number? We might as well. Very exciting episode. Someone dialing the phone. Got it. Sweating though. It's getting hot in here. It's for pimps and non pimps alike. I've used that line before. Alright, the main number is ringing. That's the main number with an E at the end. People are drowning well. Dad, hey, how are you? I'm good. Uh, quick uh, call, quick question. I am making some uh, homemade gnocchi off your recipe of abandoned Jamie Oliver's. And I have the paddle device that you gave me, but I'm trying to figure out how that uh, figures in. Okay. Yeah, I made the dough already. It's in the fridge as we speak. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That'll be Cavatelli. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. What you so you don't you're not actually using the um, okay. Well, the thing I wouldn't mind using the thing for the first time, but you're saying that the you're now you're you're rolling it so that the ridges end up on the gnocchi. Yep. Okay. Okay, so it's... Mm-hmm. Okay. 